has Madgen in the corner, finds him. That's down. Well, that's a great pass by Ty Wesley. Well, that's what happens when you have the big twin towers, isn't it? You get some feelers, you get some offensive rebounds, and you're able to get second looks, and they help guys like Blanchfield. A couple of early buckets for Blanchfield, and three early buckets for Robertson. Offense on top here at Melbourne Arena. Pinot underneath, and the contact from Boone. Gives him an extra one. I'd be very disappointed for a team that's trying to make the four. Look at the energy. It just doesn't look like it's there at the moment. They can score at will. There's no issue there. As you see, Ty Wesley does what he wants. But look. Getting right into the mood on Looney Tunes round. Wesley. Runner is good. Just a breakdown in communication there from Ty Wesley. You've got to be there on the catch as he shoots the three and tries to get it back. And he does as well. Knocks it down. Yeah, 14 and 14 this year. So they are well and truly back in the mix. Wesley, straightaway three, there it down. Is. That's two triples. Creek's on the attack. This is where he's so hard to guard. Finds Wesley and he drains the three ball. Ty Wesley's up to 16. Shooting 50, 50, 90 clips on the game. Wesley goes 50% right there and takes his tally to 18 and pushes the lead out to an even dozen. And Creek breaks the pressure. The Phoenix have the numbers. Wesley takes advantage. Three points coming the old-fashioned way for Ty Wesley. You're going to foul on that in transition. You can't let him even get up a soft one. And all the way Wesley's first 20-point night of the season. They need to stop here, the Hawks. They need a piece. Three in a row That's what they need. Wesley can't oblige, and he takes his tally to 23. They play through Wesley in the block. Skip pass. Gets it back to Wesley, and he scores across the lane. Well, that's exactly what Peter Hurley was talking about earlier.